Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again. This is going to be another Vegas Pro tutorial, but today is going to be a very special one for a couple of reasons. Main reason is we're actually running Vegas Pro 19 for the first time today, all courtesy of Magix, who actually reached out to me a couple weeks ago and asked me to become an affiliate with them. So thanks to them, they gave me a free code to try out Vegas Pro 19 to make more videos for you guys. I also have a link in the description, which is an affiliate link. If you do want to end up buying Vegas Pro 19 through the link, it will essentially help out me and the entire channel for better videos in the future and more tutorials for you guys. So again, thank you Magic so much for affiliating me with your company and I'm more than excited to use Vegas Pro 19 for the future. That being said, we also are running, as you may or may not have noticed, Windows 11 for the first time today. I downloaded it, installed it. Thankfully, I've had no issues. Everything transferred, no problem with my programs. Everything's been working pretty great. I love the new animations, the look of it, and I'm excited to see what more features lie with Windows 11. That being said, let's jump into Vegas Pro. So today we're going to be looking at tracking or essentially AI tracking with the 2D tracking feature. How many times can I say tracking in this video uh, through Vegas Pro 19? This is a feature that I added, I think, back in Pro 16 might have been. I could be wrong on that, but I've never personally really used it until recently because they because they've had so many years now to implement it and make it better and the ai is way smarter than it ever used to be because when it first came out it just didn't seem to work the way i wanted it to and it was more of a hassle than anything but trust me this can transform a three hour project down to a 30 minute project i'm not even kidding you so in the past i used to manually painstakingly track them in my videos it took forever but it was you know what we had to do back in the day I also have a video tutorial on how to do that if you ever would like to do it that way where it's manual and you can get a more precise image out of it and all that but this is the way to do it the fastest and it seems to work pretty nicely for i guess more simple things like adding text above a person or something like that right so you don't have to painstakingly do it frame by frame so first things first you want to have your video clip so i'm going to drag in this one that i already pre-chose because i know it'd be a little bit easier for this ai to work correctly and I'm going to just find a section in here that I want to use it for. Uh, so let me just find that real quick. All right. And when you find the part in the video, I'm just going to hit S on my keyboard, S as in Sally, to split the clip. I'm going to right click and delete the beginning part because I don't need that. I'm just going to drag this all the way to the front. And then I'm going to use my arrow keys just to kind of go through and see when do I want the mask to end for the tracking. We'll say probably right there. All right, again, asses and Sally to split it. I'm going to right click and delete the rest of it because this is just for this one section of the video. I don't need it for the rest of it. Um, so, yeah, once you got your section done for your main part of your video, what we're going to be doing first is putting an image on top of my video clip in which is going to be tracked. And then we'll do text after that. So I'm going to right click and insert a video track, which is right above the main clip here. And I'm going to drag down this image of sunglasses that I got off Google Images make sure it's an actual PNG image. And what that essentially means is it has no background. If you have an image that has a background, there are ways to keyframe it out in Vegas, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. So definitely save yourself some time and find an image that has no background so you can easily drag it in and it'll be ready to go. Next thing, we're gonna drag it down to the right size of the clip so they match. And then we're going to go into our video effects tab. And we're, just, we're gonna be using two different ones today. We're using motion tracker, and picture in picture. So first of all, motion tracker. We're gonna click this and drag it down to our main clip. Let go. It's just gonna tell you to access the motion tracking controls, choose motion tracking from the tools, video menu, yada, yada, yada. You can't do anything here yet, and that's okay. Hit the little red X up here so we can get rid of that window. And the next thing we're gonna go into is the picture in picture mode. And this is gonna be for the sunglasses. So just do the default one, drag it down to the sunglasses, and as you can see, it changes size. And we also get some cool tools here to manipulate the size of it. And we're going to make sure we're at the beginning of our video, not at that part in the middle here. All right. And once we're at the, be the beginning of the video clip, we're going to move these to where I want them to be. I'm actually going to track it on this officer here. So we'll put it right there at the beginning and leave it be. So obviously it's comically large and not really supposed to be that size. But this is, again, just to show you an example of what I'm talking about. Next thing, go back to your main clip. Make sure you're clicked at the beginning of it. Go down to the ellipses here, click on more, and go to motion tracking. This little box will pop up, 
And thankfully, they made it super simplistic. There's barely anything you can really edit here. And that's for the better, you know, it's, it makes it easier for us. You might see a box here on the screen like I have. If you don't, it means you just have to add a mask by clicking on the add regions button. Or if for some reason you accidentally delete it by hitting the remove region, you can then re-add it with, again, add a region. Once you have this up here, we're gonna drag these little corners here around the spot where you want to track, which is going to be this dude's face. So I'm just gonna try to make it around his head as easy as possible. All right, and now what we're gonna do is change the precision and the mode. The precision I always leave on accurate. It seems to work the best. And then for the mode, you can kind of choose any one of these to be honest with you, but I've noticed that location seems to work the best uh, in terms of its AI working the best. But again, if it doesn't work first try, you can always come back in here and try different ones. And what I'm gonna do since I've clicked at the beginning of the clip is I'm gonna select under motion tracked, I'm gonna select the track forward option. What this is going to do is it's going to track from the beginning of the clip or where I'm at now currently to the very end, or at least until it loses tracking, because sometimes it does that. If that does happen, we'll get more into that. If it doesn't, that's great. Uh, if for some reason you're clicked like in the middle of the clip, like right here, again, you wanna make sure this is on where you want it to be. And then you're gonna choose something like maybe track both directions. So it'll go from basically the entire clip. It'll track it as best as it can, but it, you get best results. You start at the beginning, put it where you need to be, and then you select the track forward. So we're gonna let that do its thing. It's gonna look like it's actually rendering the video. And then once it's done, you can see it adds all the keyframes here. It looks like it skipped a couple spots. So I'm gonna go through and see what happened when it skipped those. Looks like it's actually okay. So for the most part, it stayed, it stayed where it needed to be. So it tracked him. And that's what you wanna see. You just wanna make sure this is staying on the person or whatever you're trying to track, right? All right, good enough. The next thing we're gonna go into is, uh, oh, I didn't mean to click out of that. So again, if you do accidentally click out of that box, just hit the little ellipses, go to motion track and you get it right back. So the next thing we're gonna do is go down here to this little uh, arrow, drop down arrow. And you can see now we have the main clip, which is called Officer Stubbs on TV, which is my character in GTA Roleplay. And then we have the sunglasses picture. Now, what this is gonna do is it's going to copy and paste the keyframes, which are all these little green things that we automatically created with AI. And it's going to paste them in the timeline of the image of the glasses. So we're gonna do that so that hopefully we'll track in the right spot as this gentleman here. So we're gonna do that. There we go. And now what we're going to do is make sure that the glasses are in the right spot. So it looks like right now they're going to be off of him. So we're just going to press play and see what happens. There we go. So as you can see, the glasses obviously are not in the right spot. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do to try to fix this. We're going to go back into the effects tab here, which is going to open up the picture in picture. And I'm just going to try and drag this over his face and see if that fixes it. I doubt it will because, yeah, I figured it was going to move it right back where it was. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to remove the picture in picture. And we're going to re-add it again. So what we're going to do is go to the beginning again. We're going to put it in the right spot. And then what we're going to do is go to the location, click on the little animate button. So it's going to add a keyframe. And then we're going to go to the very end. And we're going to move these to where they need to be. And it automatically add a keyframe for us. And now let's see if we do that same thing by adding the animation to it. So we're going to go back into our ellipses, motion tracking, down arrow, glasses, Vegas picture in picture. We'll see if that works. I, I, ha I don't know for sure, but we'll see. Okay, yep, that's essentially what we needed to do. So obviously it's not perfect. It's it's never going to be perfect because it's AI. But for the most part, the glasses are staying where they need to be. They're tracking that dude's head. Even though my camera is moving, my character's moving forward. And yeah, like I didn't have to do any of that. That was super easy. Literally took maybe seven minutes total. Now, let's say you wanted to also add text, right? You don't want just an image on something. You want just text. And this is going to be probably what most people are going to be using this effect for. So again, we're going to right click insert video track. And this time we're gonna right click inside the new video track and just do insert text media. And I'm just gonna write uh, cop number one. 
and we're gonna add an outline to it just so you can see a little easier right make it black and i'm gonna drag this down so it's in the right spot all right so just right above his head right that seems about that seems about good next thing we're gonna drag this so it's the right size of the video clip and as you can see as we're moving it's it's moving around right oops uh so obviously we want to track so it stays above that cop right so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to picture and picture default add that to the text and i'm gonna put it in the right spot so right right there now let's see if that'll work if we go back to the ellipses motion tracking arrow text but motion picture all right let's see what happens look at that look at that look at that smooth tracking right there as you can see the text does go a little bit into the dude's head it's a little bit off but again if you had to edit that like if you wanted to go in and mess with that all you got to do is go up to the text go to your effects the, the picture in picture go to the spot where it starts like kind of falling off his head or whatever maybe click on that keyframe you can hold shift click to the end right click delete and then what you want to do is add or go to maybe the end here just move it up as you can see you can animate this yourself this is essentially what you would be doing manually editing or manually animating i guess is the way to say it uh it's a little bit more tricky it's it's what you're gonna have to do to make it perfect but for the most part, the AI saved us all of this keyframing. Literally, like you don't have to mess with any of this, which is awesome. So for the most part, you know, you're going to have little glitches, little hiccups here and there because it is AI. It's never going to be perfect. But this is essentially the easiest way to motion track things to keep them, uh, I guess, the easiest way. Like if you again, the most common thing I see is people putting text on their image and having it hover around a person or a vehicle or whatever, you know, for, for whatever type of reason. But this is by far the easiest way to do it without having to manually keyframe every single key uh, for the animation and the tracking. That is how to do it. If you have any questions or something I didn't go over correctly in this video, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials as well, especially with Vegas Pro 19, if you would like me to make a video like on the best settings for Vegas Pro 19 or render settings or how to set up a new project or anything like that, that may have changed since Vegas Pro 17, let me know in the in the comment sections below. And again, I'll definitely get making those videos as soon as possible. Once again, I want to repeat, I am affiliated now with Magic Software, so definitely check out the link in the description if you ever want to purchase Vegas Pro 19 for yourself so you can help out the channel. Highly appreciate it. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Leave a like, share, support, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll hopefully see you guys in the next one. Peace out.